From LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings, LA Late. It's a great Monday morning. You made it through the weekend, and the Four Simmons Checkup Update of 2021 today has all great news. The president gave us not one, but two major great items of news on Friday going into the new week about your Four Simmons Check of 2021. And this recording will go over those two items and why the push is underway. Four Stimulus has already started reconciliation. That is a two-bill, two-month, two-step process. I'll explain all the details. And the biggest money you can get across the board in the history of this channel. How much, when, and where. Then I'll go over the other money that's going out this week. And you will be landing your bank account. Some of it's automatic, but some of it you have to do something for. And I'll go over what you got to do to get this big money. And then we turn to Fifth Stimulus, which also got a big push for the president on Friday. This stimulus will have SSI reform, more money, more money across the board, and more relief also for single individuals as well. It's a great morning. The toast is toasting, the butter is buttering. I'm here, you're here, I'm ready to get to it. Are you? Let's do it. It's a big early morning's broadcast, and it's starting right now. Morning, everybody. Monday morning, and I got your fourth, fourth stimulus check update of 2021. Your fifth stimulus check update of 2021. The big news from Wall Street to Main Street to financial news across the board covered in this video. And the big money going out this week that you need to watch for, and some of the money you need to apply for because it's not automatic. How are you? This is LA. If you're new here, this is the only 24 hour day, seven days a week financial news channel. From Wall Street to Main Street, from crypto to stimulus, everything covered with a whole new slate of programming being added, but all your favorite shows still in place. Yes, more new shows, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the new shows you saw added overnight. Also, like this video, and if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. The link's in the top of the chat and in the pinned comment. Let's get to the great news. The president last week gave two major statements that absolutely were incredible for getting four stimulus to the finish line. Four stimulus is the single biggest payout you've ever seen in the history of this channel. And those two major statements, one very well covered across broadcast news and the other one buried, all helped incredibly. Let's go over the one that was buried. It was regarding the corporate tax rate. The president came out and did signally the biggest thing he could do to get it done. The corporate tax rate had remained the only issue of potential contention among Democrats with Democrats. Currently 21%, too low, says Democrats. Proposed by the president, 28%, it's too high, says some Democrats. 25%, I could do 25%, said the president, just right, as the three bears would say. And we have a deal. Incredible, great news. This is a huge deal because this is the only thing that could potentially have derailed the fourth stimulus package. The second big news came on Friday as the president came out and said, not once, not twice, but three times, go do it. Go do the fourth stimulus package right now. What are you waiting for? He's speaking to his Democratic leadership, his House and Senate Democrats. He's not speaking to anyone else. He's not speaking to the Republicans. And this is incredible great news. The listeners are Democrats who have already started the reconciliation process. They already have the bills and subcommittees. They're already working on the provisions. They don't have a baton twirler and they don't have a pageant float or confetti saying, we started a recon. They start quietly. They finish abruptly. And there we go. Two bills, two months, two steps, and away we are. Let's go over the fourth stimulus right now. How much, how do you get it, and what is it? Let's, if you're in the live chat, interact with me right now and interact with other viewers. House or Senate plan? Let's go over the House plan. The House plan proposes to pay a stimulus check of $2,000 the first month and $1,000 thereafter, continuing for the remainder of the pandemic and then one year after the pandemic. So there's a lot of stimulus checks there. That's pretty obvious. 
It's the remainder of the pandemic plus one year. The senators, on the other hand, they provide a stimulus check for just six months from July to December. But before you're ready to vote, Senate versus House in the comments, let's look at the monthly amounts. House members are much smaller. House members want to give you $1,000 a month after the first month of 2000 the senators, the amount is unknown, but word on the street is it's this. $2,000 a month over six months, $12,000. Or $1,400 a month over six months, $8,400. Yes, now vote House or Senate in the comments. If you're watching live on, and you're watching this live on the East Coast or West Coast or around the globe, drop in the live chat and say, uh, Senate or House. If you're watching this taped after the live chat is aired, then drop in the comments. Senate or House, which one do you prefer? The Senate concept is to provide a faster, more abrupt, more robust provision of money. The House approach is to give less money slowly over time. Who gets it? You get it. If you got the first stimulus, if you got the third stimulus, you would get the fourth. Individuals, $75,000 or less, you get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, you get it. If you're on SSI or SSDI, Social Security, or Rural Benefits, you get the four stimulus check. Congratulations. And if you are a household of four or less, you get it. So there's a four-person household, quadruple the amount. Married couple, double the amount. And there we are. We learned last week that several of the items that we have been discussing over the channel over the last week are no longer an issue. Also big, great news. Concerned that there would be full economic recovery of this economy by July? No longer a possibility. Economy is not rebounding that fast. In fact, it's slowing down its recovery. And third, that jobs would be restored, that people would be back to work by the month of July. That's exactly what the jobs number came in on Friday, and it showed the antithesis showed that there were jobs out there and people didn't take them. So when will we get this money? Represent, representations from congressional leaders are vote in July, finish in July, checks go out in July, for July, out in July, for July, out in August, for August, easy breezy. No waves of stimulus checks, not income, not a taxable event, and there you go. The same stimulus check for adults, same stimulus check for minors, same as stimulus check for adult dependents, easy breezy. Two bill, two step, two month process, and we are done. That is your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. Later in this recording, I'm going to go over more about the twists of this force stimulus and what the president really did that was great for it on Friday and what's happening this week that's great for it as well. But let me turn, and also later in this recording, because stay with me, it's going to have a lot of stuff in this recording, stay to the very end. Now I want to go over the incredible great news of the big money that's coming to you. And if you've been tuning in the last 24 hours, since about Sunday, you have told, you've heard me potentially say to you at least once, tough love. I'm going to be giving viewers a lot of tough love between now and when your 2020 tax return is due because this is tough love. Some of these items you're going to hear me say, you have to file a tax return. Before I get into the details of the big money coming to you, let me explain very clearly what this is. It's important for you to know that you may not make enough money that to be required to file a tax return. You're not required to file a tax return. But in the case of trying to receive Certain stimulus items, you categorically have to file a tax return. If you don't file a tax return, you're not getting the stimulus items. So you are not in the position to say, I'm not going to file a tax return because I don't want to. Well, the federal government's going to say, we're not giving you the stimulus because you didn't file a tax return. It's that situation that's currently teed up. So that's why this federal tax deadline of your personal 2020 tax return is a big issue to get some of these stimulus items coming up right now. All right, let's go over the incredible great news across the board. First, I'm going to go over all the scenarios in which you need to file a 2020 tax return to request certain items. And also, I want you to get a pen and paper ready because when you go to the tax prepared, you need to make a list of each item which you have not gotten or you're slated to get because you need to have them indicated on the 2020 tax return. Item number one, if you have a child 17 to newborn, you're going to need to file a tax return if three situations are at hand. How much money are you getting? $3,600 starting the month of July pro rate or over 12 months if the child is 5 to newborn, or $3,000 a month starting the month of July if the child is 17 to 6. What do you got to do? You need to file a tax return. If three events have occurred, number one, that you've never filed a tax return. 
They don't know the child exists. That's sort of obvious. You got to file the tax return. Say, hi, I have a child. Number two, you do file tax returns, haven't listed the child. Maybe the child was just born in the last tax year. You need to file that 2020 tax return. Third, listing the child. Third, you had a really prosperous 2019 that would not qualify you for this money normally because you're outside the threshold of eligibility based upon income level, but your 2020 year was financially a, a, a bust and you certainly fall within the eligibility threshold. Well, you need to file that 2020 tax return because all that IRS knows about you most recently is 2019 and is considering you not eligible at the current level. Those are the situations in which you need to file a tax return. Next one. If you're missing a first, second, or third stimulus check, you need to file a tax return. If a household member is missing a stimulus check or someone on your tax return is missing a stimulus check, you need to file a tax return. Then we go to the next group. Yes, incredible great news because guess what? Next week, money is landing back in people's pockets from the federal government. Congratulations. Now, the people who are getting money back from the federal government is not you if you didn't file the tax return. But if you file the tax return, you'll get yours right after that. So let me go over who's getting money next week. Congratulations. Who's getting money later this month. Congratulations. And when your money will come, starting right now. These are people who received any type of unemployment benefits in 2020. Let me go over the details. If you received 2020 unemployment benefits and filed a 2020 tax return already and pay taxes on that unemployment benefits, you are getting a refund automatically. You don't have to do anything this coming week from IRS. Let me jump down through all of those steps very slowly so you understand who it is. You filed a tax return. You pay taxes to the federal government for your unemployment. That's only federal taxes. This is federal. You paid federal, and they're returning it back from the federal government. This has nothing to do with state taxes. So how much are you getting? This is how much you're getting. Exactly however much you paid taxes on the unemployment section of your tax return. If your unemployment, for example, is $9,000, your full tax bill was $5,000. Of the $5,000, $4,000 was taxes on unemployment of $4,000. Then you're getting $4,000 back. Easy breezy. This week for single filer 2020 return people, individuals. Now, if you filed as a married couple, then you're next week. We now know you're in phase two, says IRS. So if you're listening in and thinking, wait, I think maybe I'm entitled to money, then you are the third scenario. You are a person who received 2020 unemployment benefits and took out for federal taxes any time during that 2020 year. If you took out $100 a week for federal taxes, for example, then guess what? You have to file a 2020 return and request that $100 back from the federal government that you paid, that you withdrew from your taxes throughout 2020. Again, this is for people who made less than $10,200. Incredible, great news across the board. Now, that is just the first group of big money going live. <laughs> I got a lot of other big money going live, and I'm going to go over it right now. Now, this first group is everyone, unless you're tuning in um, Elon. <laughs> so let me go over what this money is. This is the money that I told you back in January would be the single biggest payout you'd get under the third stimulus. Yes, third stimulus. It's bigger than anything you have seen, bigger than a stimulus check. It's even bigger, potentially, than four stimulus. So let me go over it. Yep. It is that. It is rent, utilities, and food. Let's go over the money. Rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and homeowners assistance is landing in the cities, states, and counties this week, last week, and next week. This is third stimulus. It's taken a while to land. How much money is it? A lot of money. A lot of money, honey. It is $5,000 approximately for rent. It is over $20,000 in some cases for food, and it's somewhere from a couple hundred dollars to a couple thousand dollars for utilities. Let's go over the rent. You're going to reach out to your city hall, your city housing authority, state hall, state housing authority, county hall, county housing authority, ask for rent because of COVID. This is third stimulus. This is Biden stimulus, the American Recovery Act. It is being channeled from the federal government to those jurisdictions this week, last week, and next week. Generally, 46 months in rent and across the board, this is generally about $5,000. It's incredible great news, but we're not done there. There's also money for mortgage and mortgage assistance. And guess what? Snap. 
Snap has been the big success story. If you are not getting Snap, if you're not getting Snap, I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> if you qualify for Snap, pick up that phone and call Department of Agriculture and get it, a family of four in Hawaii, because of the Trump executive order and the Biden executive order increasing to 15% for one year, are getting upwards of $16,000 in one year. Yes, why would you not take that money from the federal government to pay for your food instead of paying the money out of your own pocket? Take the money and leave the money in your pocket and go buy some Dogecoin. <laughs> no, I mean, just go buy something else and pay another bill rather than have your, and have the bills for food paid by the federal government. That is if you qualify for SNAP. You see how, Food, rent, utilities are so important, but guess what? They're even a little bit more important than I've even discussed yet so far in this video. And why is that? Fourth, stimulus, so far, does not have and does not intend to have any money in there for any of these items. Nothing for rent, nothing for utilities, nothing for mortgage, nothing for homeowners, nothing for eviction moratorium, nothing for mortgage forbearance. So this is the last ride at the rodeo, folks. Go get the money now. This is the big opportunity. This is the big enchilada. Go get it and go get it strongly. And guess what? I got more money for you to go get, but I'll be back in 60 seconds. Here's a little bit about the community page, which appears in the description to this video. And in the pinned comment at news.la.com forward slash community, reach out to the volunteers. They can help you get money for rent and food if you cannot find it yourself. And also consider that for utilities and internet. I'll be back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues in a little bit, bit on morning to LA at noontime Eastern Standard Time today. And then we go into noon LA. That's a live broadcast at 2 p.m., followed by afternoons LA. A lot of great shows across the board. And yes, you've seen we've added new shows to the programming lineup. So you're going to see also inside there in that time slots new shows on cryptocurrency. You're going to also see me live on air for crypto in the morning, taped in the afternoon about crypto, and also an overnight show that has just a crypto chart or a stock chart, music, live trading, live chat. Come in and chat with your Purple Power buddies and interact. Have a cup of coffee and just say hi. It's a great way you've always asked for something like this and now it makes total sense. So make sure you subscribe. This is a very large community with a lot of different things happening across the board and I want you to enjoy everything and with all this information. Also like this video, two, 3,000 likes and if you're not become a member, consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Hawk, Purple Cow, or Calcino VIP, stay informed. Let's get to all the big other details. So in addition to that other big money, guess what? There's other money coming back to you, and that money, honey, is easy to get. 
In fact, you don't have to do anything about it. <laughs> it's automatic. So hold that donut and get ready for it right now. What is it? The Department of Labor has ordered states return money to you, and that money could start earn- returning as early next week. What is that money? States were ordered to return money to you that you return to them, <laughs> ironically. During the pe- course of the pandemic, some states overpaid unemployment recipients. At, as to no fault of the recipients, as a result of a computer error at some state's unemployment offices. They overpaid you sometimes thousands of dollars. Then they reached out to you and told you to return the money to them, and you did. Well, guess what? The federal government said that was a mistake by the, the, by the states. They should have not have ordered you to return money that was not your fault. They have now been ordered, the states, to return the money to you, the viewer. Incredible great news. But wow, the other item that I certainly have to address, of course, is the businesses. The businesses have not particularly had uh, great news across the board. The PPP grant has run out of money. The EIDL grant of $5,000 has not gone live. The president never delivered the grant to start a new business. The $10,000 EIDL grant from 2020 is not being paid out to viewers' channel, being told they're denied left and right. And finally, the shutter venue grant and the restaurant grant, while live, are very restrictive, and no one has yet to see that pay out across the board. But that's buffered by the great news for Fifth Stimulus. So let's turn to the great news about Fifth Stimulus, which kicks in this fall. Fifth Stimulus is just like four stimulus, two bill, two month, two step process. And unlike a stimulus check that'll be added on, this time the add on will be your benefits. Your benefits first will be increased, asset limits will be removed, inflationary benchmark will be added, the income exclusion will be removed, and the marriage penalty will be removed. And it's in addition to all the other great things in the fifth stimulus package. Let's explain what that is. First, they're going to take everyone's benefits and raise it up to a big new number. This is your lifetime number. Hallelujah. Very easy breezy to understand. Who is you? SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rare Benefits, Social Security Survivor Benefits, and anyone else. And if you're on multiple benefits, yes, it would all be raised that new number. Second, then you would be tied to inflation as your new benchmark. So as inflation goes up, your benefits will go up. One, two, three, four percent per year, your benefits will go up. Let me pause for a second and say one thing, which is, if you're watching this video and say, am I going to be disqualified? Nope. Nothing in this is going to hurt something else. So you're not going to be disqualified from Medicare or Medicaid or SNAP or anything because of this. Then you, some of you have what's called an asset cap of $3,000 dating back to a 1984's law. They're going to get rid of the law. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. And guess what? You're going to have more than $3,000 stimulus checks if they, get their, if they get this done quickly. And that is why you need that gone. Second, they're going to get rid of the income cap. It dates back to a 1960s law. Going to get gone as well. NAP has prevented you from working and staying on benefits. Now you'll be able to work one, two thousand dollars a month, keep that money on hand, and still stay on benefits if you want to work. Not obligated to, but if you want to, great news across the board. And then finally, the other item is the marriage penalty. If you're suffering from the marriage penalty, you will no longer be a victim of it. And if you want to get married, you will no longer be a victim of it. This is all forward reform, not back reform. So we'll not change something in the back. When would this take effect? Two bill, two month, two step process. September done in about two months. So approximately November is when you see the impact on your benefits. And there you go. Easy breezy to understand. Now, Some viewers have said, whatever happened to SSI $200 and all those type of things. Here's what you need to know, is that all the provisions, all three provisions of the Elizabeth Warren SSI $200 have now been split into two parts. So SSI was supposed to, SSI 200 was supposed to give extra money for people on Social Security who are not getting enough stimulus checks. But now you're fixed because the force stimulus proposes to give people an enormous amount of stimulus, not $2,400 over 12 months when, you know, we're almost six months into this year or now it would be half that amount, $1,200. Now we're talking about eight twelve thousand dollars $12,000. So they're really taking care of you well. Force stimulus pays the same amount for SSI, SSDI, adult dependents, minor dependents. Everyone's getting this enormous payout uh, they so represent. Then on the other side, fifth stimulus provides that reform that raising you to new benefits and a new benchmark. All the promises they so represented in great news. And guess what was also great news? Well, the President of the United States came out and said, get it done. 
That's what he said on Friday. He said, get the fifth stimulus done. Now, ultimately, you heard from me on last Friday, a lot of analysis why the remainder of the president's sentences made no sense. But I'm not going to go into that because ultimately the great news is that the man with the biggest megaphone, the leader of the Democratic Party, the person who is basically the boss, um, but not, you know, not literally the boss of the people who are writing the bill, he's not writing the bill, has said, go get it done. Four stimulus, go get it done. Fifth stimulus, go get it done. And guess what? I'll make a deal with you on the corporate tax rate. Wow. I mean, how much easier, breezier can we make it? Now, what's coming up this week that you need to know? CPI. The Consumer Price Index comes out this week, so you need to be ready for that. That CPI number is important because ultimately we need to make sure always that there is no rebound in this economy faster than we anticipated. We're not there yet, but we still got to get that bill to a vote. And we don't want to hear anything that would derail that before that point. Second, PPI is coming shortly thereafter. And then finally, corporate earnings. Q1 2020 earnings are coming in this week on Monday, today. Tyson, Marriott, Simon Properties Report. Marriott's the one to watch. This is the reopening play. This is travel versus leisure. Uh, it should be uh, this is leisure travel versus business travel. Will Marriott show a rebounding because of business travel or is business travel not back? Many insiders think business travel is not back, which is bad signs for the economy, good signs for stimulus. Tuesday's Vizio. Wednesday is Bumble and Wendy's. And then Thursday is a big indicator for you at Disney because Disney Plus, the online streaming platform, if it shows numbers that are slightly pulling back based upon comparison prior quarters, then that would suggest more people are going out and that would suggest faster recovery of the economy. There you go. And across the board, millions of Americans wonder about a lot of questions. Ooh, as I go out of focus. Oh, there I am. <laughs> uh, wonder of a lot of other things. Like whatever happened, that student loan debt forgiveness. I haven't heard from Miguel Cardona. I don't know. What, and we, we wonder what's going on with other things. But what you need to do know to prepare for the new week is the following. Remember, only one person writes your bill. Senators and House members. The press secretary doesn't write your stimulus checks. She has nothing to do with your stimulus checks. The president doesn't write your stimulus checks. Has nothing to do with your stimulus checks. Uh, the Republicans don't write your stimulus checks. Has nothing to do with your stimulus checks. So I know, because I've done this now for a year, that along the way, there's always going to be someone that's going to say something very, very negative, and it may confuse viewers. That was what Temple of Doom was doing last year. So you may have Roy Blount, Republican out of Missouri, say, I don't think you should have a stimulus check. Do I care what you think, Roy Blount? You're retiring. And you're a Republican, you're not voting for it. So why would I care if someone's retiring who's not even part of the vote? Um, now, if it's Kristen Sinema or Joe Manchin says, you know, I'm having an issue. Okay, now we, peep our, we put our antennas up. We listen really carefully because we need every single vote among the Democrats. Also, if a reporter asks the press secretary, what does the president think about stimulus checks? Do I care what the president thinks about stimulus checks? He's not writing the bill. He wants his climate. He wants his infrastructure. Let's be very frank here, folks. He doesn't care about stimulus checks. It's not his priority. His priority is his roads and his climate. But if stimulus checks are put in there by the by the uh, by the leadership in the in the in the House and the Senate, the Democratic leadership, he's not going to veto it. <laughs> of course not. So he has nothing to do with it. It is not his prerogative. He will be the poster child and the pep rally cheerleader for the forced stimulus package. And if someone in the Senate or the House adds in minimum wage or free Taco Tuesdays uh, in, in Southern California, he'll sign it because he doesn't care so long as all his stuff is in there as well. And with that, I hope you've enjoyed this recording. Coming back, uh, come back with me this morning as I kick into high gear with Morning's Outlight. That's at 9 a.m. Uh, 9 a.m. And don't miss that recording because I know some of you um, have been joining me in big numbers on that noontime show. It's been doing really well lately. But then I've also seen people ask me questions that were already answered the morning show. Uh, so if you can do it, uh, possibly watch the morning show, if not at least hate. And then, after, and then we go into a full schedule of programming thereafter. But you're seeing throughout the day where I'm adding a lot of new shows across the board. I don't want you to miss any of them, so make sure you subscribe. Also, like this video. And two, 3,000 likes. It really helps in the algorithm rankings. Keep this video ranking number one before anyone else. And push Purple Power because every time you push to get stimulus out the door, it really helps. 
and stay informed, stay focused, keep on smiling across the board because it's a new day. A new smile, a new day, and a new optimism. Thank you for joining me on Early Mornings LA. I'll see you later on Mornings LA. Stay informed, stay focused. The toast is toasting, the butter is buttering. I'm here, you're here, and I'll be here in just a little bit with Mornings LA.